Hey guys, welcome to an overview of my deck. Uh, all the symbols mean exactly what you think they might. The creature and element symbols mean that creature or element, I have that many. The first number is cards that are not duplicates, like individual types of cards, and the second number is how many I have all to hold. Uh, this is not the current deck I'm using, that's an overview of every card that I've won. But we're going to start with this data. Yeah, let's go there. That I did not want to see him on his knees. With Faustina's cards, <sighs> I emerged victorious. Why did I do as she said? Men have been asking themselves that for years. Perhaps I just wanted to know the truth. The truth about being a scepter. Being a tool? The scepter I had just become. Getting paid for guy on guy action in the middle of a crowded coliseum. I mean, that's that's one way to describe a scepter, I guess. Oh gosh. That was brilliant. Your technique. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> the god's existence. <laughs> I like this better before you explained. Just as you saw the stars in your dream, <laughs> I heard the voice of the goddess in mine, telling me to entrust my cards to the savior. Savior? You don't mean... Yes. Long have I searched for the one worthy of bearing... These the children. The cards serve as the connection between gods, humans, and the world. And scepters are responsible for bringing forth harmony to the land. But nowadays... Scepters are often nothing more than minstrels and bandits, mere tools used for the enslavement of other nations. As a minstrel, I must object. You, Incidentally, I put on that uh, hat that we won in the last thing in the TF2 simulator. No, I couldn't be. I just wanted to run away from the poverty of my village. I'm not the golden boy you think. You mean more to your village than you know. You've always fought not only for yourself, but for those you hold dear as well. Now you're creeping me out, lady. See? I'm sure of it. You are the chosen one. And you will be victorious. If this keeps up, Vuit's not going to be able to keep watching. Oh yeah, I changed the uh, appearance of my deck. Not that you will have even seen it physically in the game yet, because it only happens when you exhaust your deck of cards and have to shuffle which uh, none of these games has lasted long enough to do. I hope I haven't jinxed it. Oh yes, prepare for... <laughs> He's got such a tiny little head! Look at that tiny ass little head. Here are the cruel cries of the crowd. No applause for my hideous visage. And his animation for speaking is the most obvious and the most hilarious. Coliseum will drive fear and hatred into your very hearts. I think I would have put a couple more A's in there, but that's just me personally. Very practical. Thanks, dude. No, that's... It's not right. It's like a Skyrim helmet gone wrong. Oh yeah, a staff with a talking human head. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope Galleon isn't in this game. I'm sure we'll see enough of him. This music again. Well, I knew ahead of time, but I was gonna let you know it play for one episode anyway. Thanks, Pondun. It's your turn. Oh no, she's back. Yes, 
Yes, it does. Well, you could do that. But, to be honest, I'm going to ignore the forks as much as I can and place on the strip immediately around the castle. Because that you're required to go through whichever fork option you take. That's, obviously, that's not going to be the case all of the time, but I'm going to do what I can. So, what's a fortune teller? <coughs> oh, that's a fortune teller. <laughs> I'm waiting too. Well, I'm sure glad I have a creature. Yes, please. <laughs> like scepter, like card? I'm not sure where I was going with that. Just pretend it made sense. Thank you for bearing with me on that. For the next fort. His nightmare penetrates. I'm just going to let you think about that one. Yeah, I have a Sylph too now. That would be pretty handy right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear my phone ringing in the background. I'll get to it later. For the next fort. Yeah! Select all of all of your territories Discard for commands. Uh, I think it's just too early. I'm not going to have a use for that yet. Low! That is not a low number. Regardless, I want to go this way. Oh, how about that? I actually should have stayed on the red path. Discard. Who knew? <coughs> the horse penetrates. I'm just going to let you guys think about that one. But not too much. Um, That is very conditional. And I think it's cool, but I may not get the chance to use it anytime soon. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> he looks so dopey. I'm glad I played that card, even if for only that reason. Oh. Hey, it's back. Fine. Crusher. Take that, strips of boiled leather. You may cast a spell again. Mario Party! Uh, I could have got, doubled back on that loop, but there is no good reason to. Currently, anyway. I can imagine a couple scenarios in which it might be useful. But they are rather unlikely. It'd be nice to, uh... Make it that far. You a Why, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Oh, crap. That means I cannot level up territories for three rounds? Oh, man. It's your turn. That is... not good. Mana. You know, if I had another enchantment, I could get rid of it, but, uh, you know, I... I seem to have left those in my other trousers. Or, is he even wearing... I can't even tell if that guy's wearing trousers. It's your turn. 
He seems to be a lot more calculating about what to do with his items. And by items, I mean cards. So we'll see if he does the whole sporadic attacking for no good reason nonsense. Might be one of the first useful opponents. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he exists. Ah, uh, this way. I am expanding a little bit willy-nilly, but at the same time... It's your turn. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, a lizard man. Not concerned. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out a... Uh, a, a good long-term strategy. Unfortunately, all of them involve operating from a position of more strength and resources than I currently have. I don't want to. I don't think he has those effects yet. Stay tuned for me getting proven wrong. I'm going to keep the fighter as an attacking card. Oh, I meant to level up the bogger. You see what I do to please you people? I play badly by forgetting things. It's your fault. It can't, because otherwise it would be my fault. And I'm max damage. That can't be right. It's your turn. Discard a card. Hmm. Strangely, I don't have a use for that for a little while. Aim for the castle. I don't have a use for green at all right now. Uh, what? what? I didn't get a good look at that card. I don't think I like it. I don't remember if I put that Mothman in my deck, but if he's got that many skeletons, it might actually be practical. Um... Uh, Let us stick mostly with defensive items at the moment. Now! We can have a little fun. Follow the guidance of the cards. And that's how the fortune teller works. It's your turn. Discard a card. At this point, since symbols are not are still not able to be directly affected during the game, pretty much that would be uh, insurance for if I lost really badly in a battle, uh, because I'd be able to sell the symbols before I started giving up territory. However, it is not currently looking like that is going to be the case. Yeah. Discard a card. I am not. Yeah, I'm glad that got thrown away. I can do with a little less unpredictability. Can I kindly roll a one? Discard a card. I don't have a use for kamikazes at this exact moment in time. That is not a one. Alright, well, it is about that time. So, I will see you guys next week with <laughs> Replaced Music again. Thank you.